Here we presents the top 5 best riding lawn mowers. Starting at number 5, Swisher ZTR 2454 BS. Powered by a 24 HP engine by American manufacturers Briggs and Stratton, the Swisher ZTR 2454 BS is a very serious riding lawn mower. It's a zero turn model, with a low center of gravity to keep it stable. Unusually, it has the same top speed in forward and reverse as gears, an impressive 8 miles per hour. Those blades mean there's no need to buy an additional mulching kit. The blades have raised teeth that direct air to the center. That air pushes the grass clippings back and forth an average of four times over the cutting edge. The result is a superior mulch, requiring no add-ons. A shield at the front stops debris from escaping and blowing back on you. If you've tried other riding lawnmowers and found yourself covered in dust and grass clippings, that's a feature you'll love. The shield also assists airflow, helping to stop the grass from clumping together. Swisher has developed a patented rapid response control system, designed to give better comfort and control during mowing. It means you can reach all the controls you need to easily, whilst your arms stay in a comfortable position. If you're going to be mowing for long periods, it's a real plus. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Pelin Pro P46CX. Equipped with a 22 HP V Twin Pro engine manufactured by Briggs & Stratton, Palin Pro's P46CX offers power and resilience. The mowing deck is 46 inches wide and comes with a 10-year warranty. Its twin blades can be adjusted to six different cutting heights, from 1. 5 to 4 inches in half-inch increments. Although the range may not be as wide as some, that's sufficient for all but the most demanding domestic uses. The fuel capacity is significantly greater than the Troy built-in tech model, at 3. 5 gallons. That's paired with a top speed of 6. 5 miles per hour, or 3. 5 miles per hour in reverse. The combination means it can cut an impressive 2. 4 acres of grass in an hour. All that pace goes along with a mower that's easy to maneuver. This is another zero-turning model, making it as easy as pie to negotiate obstacles like benches or flower beds. There's no steering wheel here. Instead, the mower is operated by two levers, positioned at hand height. The foam padded grips are designed to be comfortable to use and easy to control. The other controls are located together within easy reach. A single panel includes the ignition, the throttle, and a button for the electric blade engagement. Halfway of my listed number 3. Cub Cadet XT1. The funky yellow Cub Cadet XT1 features an 18 HP Courage KS540 engine from Kohler. The reference to Courage is a clue, it's designed to give consistent performance in all conditions. There's also an innovative touch with the oil filter. It's inverted, making it easy to change the oil without any spillages. It's spring-assisted, and you can choose from any of its 12 levels using a simple lever. It's so easy to use, that you can adjust to take account of obstacles like tree roots as you mow. And with a minimum cut of just an inch, you can get that grass bowling green smooth. The easy operation extends to the approach to putting it into reverse. On the right-hand side of the mower, there are two pedals. The one in front is to move forward, the one behind, close enough to press with your heel, is for reverse. The steering wheel is molded to be comfortable to use, and the steering is light. It's easy on your hands, even after hours of mowing. Add to all this a turning radius of a mere 16 inches, and this is a mower that's exceptionally simple to maneuver. The frame is fully welded, and there's an anti-corrosion coating for durability. It comes with headlights as standard. High illumination LEDs will give great visibility well into the night. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Ryobi RY 48111. With a 38-inch cutting deck, Ryobi's RY 48111 falls squarely between Troy Built's neighborhood scale mower and larger options from Hiskvarna. It has plenty of other distinctive features, too. The mower will run for around two hours on a single charge. That means you'll be able to mow around two acres before having to pause to recharge. It's not as powerful as a larger petrol engine, but it will still handle 15-degree slopes with ease. For steeper inclines, you'll need to go slower and better to mow downhill. The top speed when you're going forward is 8 miles per hour, but that reduces to 5 miles per hour when you're mowing. Move into reverse, and that drops to a still respectable 3 miles per hour. 
You can choose from 12 different cutting heights, ranging from 1. 5 to 4. 5 inches. There are two precision cut steel blades, each with direct drive brushless blade motors. The control panel features cruise control and a battery level indicator, to warn you when you're running out of charge. There's also an hour meter, and, a lovely touch, a USB phone charger and phone holder. And if you tend to mow in the evenings, you'll appreciate the headlights which come as standard. And number 1. Ariens 915223 Icon X. The Ariens Icon X52 has a slightly smaller engine and cutting deck than his Skarna C254. Here you get a 23 HP Kawasaki engine capable of around 7 mph, and 3 mph in reverse. The mower deck is 52 inches wide, and made of 10 gauge steel. It's designed to optimize airflow, to provide a precise cut. Like the Husky, this is a mower with 3 steel cutting blades. You can choose from no fewer than 13 different cutting positions simply by turning a dial. Choose 4. 5 inches for the first cut of overgrown grass, or reduce to just 1. 5 inches for a manicured finish. This is another mower with a zero turn radius. If you've got a large plot with lots of garden features to navigate, it should make your short list. We particularly like the way the deck protrudes on one side, allowing you to cut right up to the curb. Hydrogear S transaxles provide a smooth ride. For us, though, the seat is the real selling point of this model. It's very comfortable, with loads of padding, and an adjustable high back seat. And unlike the Husky, here the armrests come as standard. There's even an insulated rubber foot mat to reduce vibrations. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.